Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gohamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be showing you how to outline text in Inkscape. Okay, so putting an outline around text in Inkscape you can do in one of um, two different ways. Um, first, we're actually going to get rid of this um, page border, so we're going to go to the page documents, take the page border out. And then we're just going to add in our text. You're going to come over here to the text tool and click anywhere you want and you can start start adding your text. All right, we'll go back to the selection tool. What we're going to do is hold control and shift and make this a little bigger so we can see it. We want to change the font to give us something a little bit heavier. So we're going to go up to our um, text and fonts. And over here, you can just select, you know, different different text that you want to do. We're actually going to go to the uh, Acme font. It gives us a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier uh, text, so we can kind of see the outline a little bit better. Okay, so to add your outline to your text, what you want to do is you want to actually pull up your fill fill and stroke menu. Okay, um, over here, you're going to go make sure that your text is highlighted, and you're going to actually highlight the go to the stroke paint tab and we're going to actually go flat color and what that's going to do is it's going to give us um, an outline basically a stroke just like with any other object that you put in into Inkscape now to change that color of course it's black so we can't see it so if we change it to you know say green it's going to give you that outline the nice thing about this tool is you can actually go into the stroke style and actually change this to any size that you want we're actually going to go to pixels and change it to 10. <clears throat> what that's going to do is it's going to give us an outline of any color that you want you can do this with any font that you want to use you can you can use this with um, some of the little tools over here on your stroke style you can add those to your um, to your text to give it uh, you know a little bit different look depending on the font that you're using so we're going to hold control and actually scroll in our mouse wheel and so you can see these edges and if we use these you know like select this chamfer it'll give of course a little chamfer on all of the little edges here and if we want to just follow the outline we can give it a nice sharp clean right angle i do like the uh the joint that has a uh, more of a radius on it it makes it with this particular font makes it a little bit more smooth all right, so now that we've got our new text put in, what we can do is we actually give this kind of a shadow, kind of a background. And so what it's gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our text is highlighted. We're gonna come up here to path and then linked offset. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give us one single node right in the middle, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and change the background, the shadow color to let's go like a, a little bit, little kind of a red, all right? So now when you grab this node and move it up, what it's going to do is it's going to um, increase or decrease the shadow that this text creates. The neat thing about this kind of tool is if you grab your text and move it down, you get a shadow behind it. So these are now two completely separate images. Okay. To get back to aligning things, let's go to our um, align and distribute menu. And we're actually going to highlight both of these um, both the text and the text shadow. Okay, so we want to realign those. We're going to go ahead and realign to the vertical and then we're align to the horizontal. And what that's going to do is it's going to put it exactly in the center. And that's just another way of showing you how to use the text tool. It's really super simple. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and we will see you guys next time.